Hello and welcome back to another 3ds Max tutorial. So our previous tutorial was based on dealing with objects at the sub-object level. So we're going to concentrate on that a little bit more throughout this tutorial and really show its advantages and the power of 3ds Max um, as, 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 as a design tool. So um, as, as I said in the last tutorial, um, we're dealing with objects at the sub-object level, every object is pretty much made up of lines and points and faces. And so we're, what we're doing is, by dealing with the sub-object level, we're really uh, editing and manipulating uh, those, those factors, or those elements of the object. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to draw a sphere. And what we're going to do with this sphere, I don't, I don't really like that colour now, I might change that colour a little bit brighter, make him a, a nice pinky, purpley kind of a colour. Okay. So what we're going to do with this sphere is we're going to make a nice organic chair very very efficiently. Um, so I'm going to start off, I'm going to scale him on the z-axis, so he's a nice kind of ovaloid kind of kind of shape. And then what we'll do is we will we may as well right click and convert him to an editable poly. And going up here to our top viewport, if we just go into create into shapes and we'll just draw a rectangle and I'm going to snap a rectangle to those um, to, to the grid system. In order to do that I'm going to right click on my in my snap toolbar, go to snaps, make sure grid points is selected and we'll also make sure the end points are selected. So we'll right click on that, press S to, to activate your snaps and we can click from here, drag them over so that's Actually, I'm actually taking a step too soon. What I want to do first of all, I want to take this center point and move that and snap it to the center of the grid. This black, the black crosshair that we can see on our on every viewport, we'll snap it there just for efficiency. And now we'll go back in and we'll draw our rectangle. We'll take it from here, like so. So now our uh, spherical shape is centered within the rectangle and we know that our geometry is, uh, is even all around. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of that sphere. And I'll turn it off for one, one more second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the leg, uh, each leg of the chair, span to the floor plane of, um, of this grid like so. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of the sphere. I'm going to draw in another rectangle. Something like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to move that particular uh, particular rectangle. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to pick this outside corner. And I'm going to make a copy of him. Drag him. Make him instance. That's fine. And we'll take this next point. Drag him to here. And the next point will go to here. That's fine. And what we can now do is we can turn off our snaps. We can select this uh, outside rectangle. We can delete that. What we might do is, if we select our top rectangle, hold down shift, and we might group these just for convenience. We'll call these base points. And what we can do is, we can add a modifier to these, and if we look into our uh, perspective viewport, they're already selected. If we go over to our modifier uh, panel, drop down our modifier rollout, and cap holes, and now these have become um, polygons. The shape has been has been filled in. So I'm going to turn back on the sphere. I'm going to select the sphere, and I'm just going to drag him up on the z-axis, up something like that. That's great. Now he is an, edit an editable poly already. I'm going to check the vertex icon. I'm going to pick a point somewhere around just below the center, along that center line. I'm going to use the soft selection and I'm going to increase the fall off to something like that. And then I'm just going to simply, on the z, z axis, I'm just going to drop that down like so, being careful not to go too far. We can check it in our front viewport. So that's going to, call, that's going to create the cushion for our chair. And to unselect and to start uh, working outside of the vertex selection, we just make, make sure to uncheck the vertex and now we can start dealing with uh, objects again. What we will do is we will rotate this. We're going to look on the bottom. I'm going to turn off the grid. And 
I'm going to press U to turn off perspective so we're looking in the orthographic and it looks like one of my squares, oh I see in the top viewport this uh, this square has been um, been moved, I'm going to ungroup these guys for a second oh I can actually select them no, I better ungroup that group oh. ungroup, that's fine Check away, select that box, I'm going to turn back on my snaps, take that point and drag it. No, that didn't work. Okay, let me undo some of them. So now I want to select that point, drag it and snap it to that grid. Okay, now that's better. Turn back off the snaps. Now we're in business. Okay, I'm going to regroup these guys once more. Group, group, I'm just going to call them base for convenience. Okay, so I'm going to select the spherical object. I'm going to hold down control. No, I'm just going to attach. If I go over here to the command panel, you can see in edit geometry, and then you have the attach uh, selection. So we press attach, and then I'm just going to select it to, um, well, I have to do them individually. Anyway, in this case, okay, that's fine. So that's then now all of the, this sphere and these four points are all and um, part of the same object. I'm going to go to bottom again, and at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the polygon icon. I'm going to turn off soft selection, and I'm just going to select this guy. He looks about right, and what I'm going to go, if you look down here in the edit polygons, we can bridge, and you can select, I'm going to bridge that guy to that guy. So this is our center line, I'm three over, three over again, I'm going to select this guy to that guy, down below again. So it's out two from the center, one, two, and three over, one, two, three, that looks about right, and we'll do that once more one two three we'll drag it drop it like so and that looks pretty good for now so now I'm gonna unselect see I cannot I can't do anything else except for select I, I'm on bridge now I want to unselect bridge sorry now okay and because our polygon selection is highlighted, is all we can do is select polygons. I'm going to unselect un un that. I'm going to select the entire object. If you see the element is the last icon, select the entire object. I'm going to go back into the modifier list. I'm going to go to, I'm just going to press T and I'm going to put on a turbo smooth. And I'm going to put it up maybe two, three, five, iterate, five iterations. And now we have this beautiful little organic space age looking chair. Like so. So you can really see that you can really have fun and you can really play around uh, by dealing with the with the sub object level. Yeah, you can really have fun and you can really get down to the to the um to the tedious and um, in depth aspects of the geometry of the of the object. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I will see you in the next tutorial.